got papers? TV. You got papers? Yes, I got fucking papers. All right. If you are tuning in right now, it is the fucking We Don't Smoke the Same show here on Be Real TV. Fucking Shikadelic got out of fucking jail. I'm going to give him a round of applause again. for that. Had to bail him out. Freedom. Had to fucking bail him out. Smells like freedom. He said his public defender doesn't let him talk about uh, what the case exactly. So he goes into it, but uh, I can't go into specifics. Just know that I am a criminal. Damn, there you go. Shiki is, is out and free, so he's back. He will be back, hopefully, on the... Uh, I'm into all types of ill shit. But uh, he was over there eating fucking summer sausage and... He got uh, stabbed six times. Only six. Yeah, only six, dog. But yes, yeah, so welcome back, Cotter, eh? Uh, anyways, uh, we also have fucking A.O. Toppy in the fucking center. It is another Thursday Yo. here. You know what I mean? And uh, the treehouse, or... Uh, well, it's not even... It's, I wouldn't say it's treehouse, cool. It's fucking... Treehouse after dark. It's fucking Colton the Berg and fucking uh, Raz Dude up there. Eh? Yeah. And yep. And before yeah. we fucking get up any any uh, fucking uh, further, I want to go ahead and give a big thank you to the sponsors. Even though uh, Tommy could not make it, but he had a legitimate reason this time, eh? You know, he had a family emergency, so <laughs> we will get next week. We'll like be there with the biz like cake. Style, right? Fucking a hey, uh, shout out to you and sorry for your loss, Tommy. Uh, fucking uh, make sure you fucking check out Business Underscore Collective. <laughs> Make sure you fucking uh, check out Dime Industries as well for the fucking double tank vapes. Uh, Tropicali uh, CBD, Cannabis Rich, Puff Sauce, and we also got to close out by DJ C-Rock after the show hey. as well. So, hey, hey, make sure you check that out. C-Rock's got a lot of shit going on, by the way, man. I'm up. Before we, uh, we go ahead and get into the fucking uh, like end of the show and his uh, closeout, I'm, I'm going to give him another round of applause, too, because uh, C-Rock's been doing this shit. You know C-Rock has his own shop opening up in the OC, though? That's good. Like, not a weed shop, but a motherfucking soda shop, dog. Soda shop. A soda yeah, shop? Yeah, exotic yeah, soda exotic. shop, dog. No, not even exotic sodas. You got exotic snacks, Yeah, that's too. what's up. So it's an all exotic thing. I guess that seems to be the way these I days. I with that. I'm a, I'm a big soda drinker. I'm going to go fuck with fucking c Rock shit. You got to drink something, Shiki. I know you had a vice, bro. Now that I know your vice is sugar, now I know, bro. I'm going to just keep showing up here with sodas and be like, hey. Sugar. Sugar. So what, what did you say, c Rock? Some good cola, bro. Give me some good hey, cold cola. Hey, C-Rock said he's going to be bringing, uh, you know, like some of the exotics as well, too. And we also have this project in the Glass area. bottle, that, that, por favor. My boy uh, Sammy has been working on, uh, and they will it will be available through flavorsbyezone.com. So there's going to be an exotic mystery box. So there will be details uh, coming up for that. So make sure you go ahead and uh, stay tuned for that as well. There's a couple things in the fucking news. We usually start out with some crazy shit. Number one, listen. We got a lot of views for the last High and Hungry, and I cannot believe. All right, listen, I, I'm so fu I'm fucking surprised that out of all the fucking stupid shit that you say, Shiki, the angry shit, the fuck yous, the bitch this, bitch that, I'm the one when I decide to speak my mind, I fucking stir commotion up. What happened? Dog, so there's this fucking picture of Donald Trump with his daughter and that one dude, what's his name? The one that's getting prosecuted for the sex trafficking charges? Epstein? Yeah. All right, so it, like, there's this picture of all three of them, right? And uh, like, oh, I was I, I was just, uh, it was the beginning of the thing and I was just like. Yeah, you flashed it right quick. Huh? I didn't, I showed it to the camera because Ray was like, what are you looking at? What did you see? Damn, and, I, and all I said was this, bro. I was like. It's the president. No, I said, Wow. This is our president. I didn't even say fuck Donald Trump. I didn't say none of this shit. I just said, I spoke facts. I spoke, I didn't say, wow, this is sick. I didn't say, oh my God, this is disgusting sick. I just said, wow, this is our president. And let me tell you, dog, people started going ape shit in the fucking chat room. I mean, the comments on the YouTube. If you watch the latest High and Hungry, I mean, fuck, dude. They're fucking, like, they're going in, bro. People are like, just stick to chronic. And uh, people are like, what do you know? Another fucking Mexican hating on fucking, uh, on, on fucking Trump. And I was like, I'm Salvadorian, puto. <laughs> <laughs> Same was, shit. So the next fucking, hey, bro. Hey, no te pases, fool. That's like me calling you Puerto Rican. You know what I mean? Y'all just both as loud. Same shit. I don't shit. care, bro. You can say whatever you want. I'm not one of these little... Offended little bitches on the internet. Hey, fool. Cheeky knows what he is, and he don't give a fuck. Exactly. Hey, shut the fuck hey, up, you shut the fuck up up there, People bro. call me Mexican you all the time. You speak you you coconut islander. What are you getting so mad about, bro? You see, hey, why, are you so, hey, bro. why are you so triggered, bro? Yeah, what is, what is your what is your deal these days? You're always, like, fucking talking, freaking out. I was talking about the fucking uh, the, the people out. in the comments going in because of my political statement. Hey, not man. even a political statement, bro. Don't let the Trumpsters get to you, dog. Hey, hey, man, I'm I, just, I was surprised that, like, this, like, it took that, and all of a sudden, stoners went from fucking just being about weed to, like, hey, this is my political view. Fuck you. 
It was wild, dog. It just stirred up a lot of shit. At least you're not getting like Secret Service rolling into your house. Like, well, how now you know what to do for the next one. Like your idol. Like my fucking my brother. Yeah, like well, I mean, you... like the guy you jerk off to. Damn, yeah, damn, dog, fucking. That damn, would... dog, Sammy's over here. That would be like fucking... that would be like incest kind of. I don't know, it's fucking interesting. Uncle Shoes, shout out. It's fucking yeah, shout out to fucking house shoes and shit. Hopefully yeah, this stream don't get us. shut down. What is it? Big shoes. <laughs> yeah, man. But that's I would just shout out to the people watching High and Hungry and shout out to the people that stay watching the content that we do. That is not just the fucking Green Thumb show, including fucking little coconut scumbag up there, fucking Ras dude with his alley reviews. People fucking biting that fool, dog. Biting that fool. Hello, hard. Biting. How do you him, feel dog. about that, Ras dude? D- don't get him started, bro. He's gonna fucking go on this rant. No, it's all right. Biting I mean, like, him on what? The fucking uh, alley. Re- I mean, I wouldn't say it's biting in alley reviews. I think uh, Simon Rex is a huge fan of alley reviews, and he was just like, he's just trying to participate. Simon Rex? Yeah, he did. He as did. In as, as in the ex gay porn star? Dirt Nasty. Yeah, but he started as a gay porn star. I don't. Wow. I don't know how you know that, but I'm. I'm. Cheeky fucking, has that tape. I won't judge you. A, check out on Cheeky's link in his Facebook. He has yeah, it. Yeah, it's on uh, Sheikadelic.com. Go check it out. So, so is his gay porn in your your search history? For fucking porn. It's on his Google history, oh, bro. That's like your favorites, your favorites video. Anyways, you know what? Like, we're not going to fucking discuss this, discuss this any further. Not, we're going into the fact that Raz is I'm not here fucking bitten. backing you up and you're over here defending this cocksucker. Fuck Damn. You, bro. Damn. Hey, Shiki's about to go off and just go up there and just start swinging, bro. And you're going to, he's, he's going to use Colton as a human shield. We should just have Colton run the shows. Damn, man. Hey, you know what? Hey, people we in should. the chat, people should. in the chat Colton, room are saying, here. people are too sensitive. I agree, dog. People are soft. That guy, she's weird. Yes, he's soft. Hey. W F T. Soft. Hey, well, all right, so we're gonna we usually get into some fucking outrageous shit when we talk about Sammy fucking uh, got the stories this week and uh, hey, I, I know if Sam, I know Sammy got stories but can, can what, we talk about the, can we talk about that crazy fucking short bagel guy the who you didn't see the bagel guy the bagel guy yeah, oh so. all right oh I know what you're talking about all right I, whoa, I'm, all right whoa, 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 you explain right. this though for once you have something bro. <laughs> All right, well, basically, there's this viral vir- video going around of this, this like, five-foot <laughs> gentleman going ape shit at, at this bagel shop in New York, and he's just talking shit. To, he's Dude, talking shit to the ladies behind the counter. Talking he's about. talking shit to the customers next to him, and he's challenging people to a fight. Until, I thought that was you that beat him up. Until, yeah, until somebody stepped up and actually fucked him up. But, yeah, there's yeah. There, there's here's the video. video. Put the volume up. Okay. That's okay. Nobody. <laughs> Women in general have said it on dating sites. You think I'm making that shit up? Everywhere I go, I get the same smirk with the biting lip. Shut your mouth. You're not God. Damn. You're my father. Or my boss. See, I would have been like, hey, hey. You want to step outside? Huh? I'm not standing, pal. You shut up, too. You shut up. Yeah, that's... Attack me, big... Oh. oh, my God. Damn. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, he, he fucking got up on him and started doing the... You know in wrestling, when they go up on you and they start going... They yeah. start beating up on you, like... That's the Luthez press. And they start giving you punches, like, right away, that... The Stone Cold does that shit. Here's the thing, bro. Do you think that... Like, because number one, bro, I... I here's Here's... This is how this is how I, you gotta look at it both ways, right? This is why I don't like midgets. Like this, <laughs> yeah. I really, I really try to try to be not understanding and try to give justice, but I'm like, can you imagine the fucked up shit that fool had to hear from some girl online for him to just want to take it out on everybody? What was the statement he said? He said, if you're if you're under five a five five two, go kill yourself. Go kill yourself. He said somebody told him that online, and the girl was like, nobody told you that here, sir. I don't care. He's just he's going, I mean. Man, there's plenty of fucking bitches under five feet that'll fuck him. He's, I mean, just, he's just trying to fuck, he's trying to fucking date these, these, these tall bitches that are like close to six feet tall and shit. When he should be fucking dating bitches that are like. Three feet. Yeah, three foot five or something. He hey, Shiki, in other words, is telling you, what did you expect? <laughs> Alright, so that Shiki Shiki's response is fucking what did you expect? But I mean I never seen a dude be that angry over being short. I'm like, I always thought short homies got played. Like I ain't never seen fucking you know what I mean? Like somebody be that angry over it. Like, you know Hey, Prince was a short motherfucker and he fucked all the bitches. Yeah, yeah. Right, he wore heels though. Sure. It don't matter, he don't fucked matter. them. It made him taller, eh? <laughs> 
Five oh, two that's, with that's heels. Still pretty fucking short. All right, all right, all right. Five two in heels. That's short, eh? There's hope. What, what Just a, think of Prince. Hey, what 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 about you, Sammy? What did you what, what do you think triggered this motherfucker to go off off the rails like that? Oh, well, for sure, someone fucking talked about his fucking height. I mean, but like, what do you think that like for a girl like you think if 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 I, if you DM a girl on Tinder, yo, what's up? Uh, you know, like whoop de whoop, you you shoot your shot. Like, do you think that she's like, what ha What do you have to say to her for her to like insult you that bad? You know what? If you're under 5'2", you should fucking just die. <laughs> like, that's some fucking cold shit. That's like something a stripper I'll would tell, tell you. Bitch, like, if you got fucked more than five times this year, you should just die. Damn. <laughs> All right, so you would have got even. You would have got even. Yeah. You would have just started wow, insulting wow. the fucking chick and be like, hey, fuck you. And then give me your fucking two cents, right? Yeah. I don't know, man. I kind of feel, I felt bad for this guy at first. I was like, man, this was fucking hella frustrated. Ain't nobody giving him no play. But then I was like, I'm glad Cheeky beat him up in that video. Actually, there's more videos of him acting like a fucking dickhead. Oh, really? All right. Yeah. Then, you know, like two or, like two uh, you're going to bring this one up, Razzle? You're going to talk shit about this one? This one right here <laughs> fucking stirred. Oh, wow. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right, fine. We're going to fucking get into this one because we haven't got into this one. I like, how old is this shit? Dude, this shit's from like a day or two ago. I didn't. It's I thought like it was years old. old. Yeah, it's like four days old. But these motherfuckers. Dude, this shit. Crazy. Is, it went too fucking far, man. Oh, you took flight of my bitch. Look at the little little Cutting baby. In line, motherfucker. Hey, you know what made this shit sad when the little kid started trying to hit him? You know. Damn, bro. All right, so. Did we talk about this shit? Last? Yeah, this shit wasn't even here last week, right? No, this happened. This, All right. this happened over the weekend. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna talk. We're gonna touch on this shit. I'm pretty sure people have fucking seen this video, and I, I'm glad that you got out of jail, Shiki, and somebody bailed you out. Yes, and thank you. you and you for have that. to. You have to fucking. Uh, get, you know, you. I'm. You know, we have the opportunity. That's my real sponsorship right there. To oh, yeah. to hear what your take on this is. Sammy digs a hole. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So. We're going to start it out. Hey, you can come back, Raz, dude. I know you like seeing those fucking girl get hit. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, say that this guy is a pimp as his, uh, his career. You think this was a pimp? Yes, he had uh, no, no hesitation in slapping up a bitch. He didn't. Even no. his, he smacked. I'm guessing that he was like his. He smacked his girl, bro. His own girl and it would look like his sister, I guess, maybe. Nah, oh, bro. Man. Like, because there was a part Supposedly where he, they were all related. He said, you hit my girl? And then he fucking just started, like, took, swinging on it. Nah, he said, you took fight on my bitch? He said it like that. All right, so what, what, so what do you, like, what, what, if you were in that scenario, dog, like, what are your thoughts, bro? Like, what, like did it make you angry at first, Shiki? I mean, it's, it's a place for children, I mean, to enjoy, and you're fucking bringing that. Of course, somebody's going to get pissed. Somebody will fucking get pissed, man. I mean, people are paying close to $200 a ticket to get in, and you fucking have to endure shit like that? You know what the fuck? The, the, what I saw with the comments and every time I saw this video was that I would see people saying, this is the reason Disneyland keeps increasing their prices. And I started to think about it. I was like, is that the reason that they keep increasing? Because, you know, I'm like... I'm like, why would you raise prices if there's more people in here? You know what I mean? Like, I get it, you know, like, this, the population thing. But realistically, do you think it's because of shit like this? That's, that could be a reason. Hey, the that number one comment on that video is saying, if you lit a cigarette, security would have gotten there way faster. Oh, yes. I ain't, hey, I'm, I swear, bro. I'm, a, I'm, a fucking, I'm glad you fucking brought that up, bro, because I told you about my experience. By the way, if somebody has a car outside and they don't shut that shit up. <laughs> all right, like, what is it? I'm, like, my experience at Disneyland, bro, I had a sheriff back up a fucking worker there. Like, for throwing an empty Dime Industries cartridge in the fucking trash can before I went in. This shit was empty. Fuck? It was empty, bro. It was fucking empty. Like, literally, I was like, oh, shit. I forgot to take it out of my pocket. I was supposed to throw it out the window yeah. as I was driving. And fucking, nah, bro. Like, I forgot it. So I threw it in the trash can on the way to the fucking downtown Disney area. And, I, and nobody saw me throw it. At least I thought. And the moment I went through that gate... Like, literally, bro, like, I had a girl that worked there as a manager and a okay, sheriff backing here. her up. And she was like, did you throw this marijuana cartridge in there? And I was like, it was an empty cartridge. And I was like, that's, that's irrelevant. I didn't bring it in here. I did what you guys would have wanted me to do, right? And they were like, did you smoke before on the way here? I was like, what the fuck? That's none of your business. Yeah, and, started, and I was like, okay, mom. You know, I was like, that doesn't matter. But, like, I, even, I denied it because I didn't want to get kicked out. 
But the thing that fucking tripped me out was, I was that right away they were able to they were able to track me down because of that. But the fact that they had this fucking old ass uh, like the older version of the Jurassic Park guy going up to the dude like, what the fuck is he gonna do against a fucking angry ass R. Kelly ass looking dude, fool? That fool was over here smacking motherfuckers. He looked like a basketball version of R. Kelly, bro. He did. He did it, bro. Like he was up there just smacking girls, bro. Like I mean. I, like, come on, now. it's a fucking spot for I get, words, I get what if it. If he would have just started attacking like random people, would you would have had to fuck him up, bro? Yeah, you, yeah. You would have had somebody had to take flight on I him, bro. Choked him out. Somebody like, especially the per like. This is what I don't get. The person that grabbed them and they had him on the chokehold. That would have been the key to be like, all right, knock. Should have kept out. it on him like, and then make him go night night. Like, yeah, just, like, what, like, what have you done, bro? If somebody had him on the chokehold. Wouldn't you have just gone to serve him up a quick little combo? Kick him in the fucking head, bro. <laughs> they, bro, this is they, run up and <laughs> kick that motherfucker in the head. <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> I'd kick him in the throat. This Fuck is his fucking whole family. free game, bro. This is the shit. This is what happens when fucking, fucking America baby. goes a little pussy, eh? <coughs> Fuck that dude's whole family. How about that? I'm going to kick the kid in the head. That's too far, fool. Come on, Nah, man. bro. They're, they're all involved, so fuck them. <laughs> they're all rats. <laughs> all whole family fucking rats. Hey, what I, but what I'm, what I'm saying, man, is that, like, if you... Like, there was enough people there, bro, to fucking, like... To, if you saw a security guard, bro, and you saw the type of Disney bunk-ass security they got... You know you would have at least bro. had to step in. I know it's not it's not your problem. Disney you might security, get in the way, but come on, dude! Like, a bunch of fucking nerds is what they are. Uh-huh. I'm like, walk through the gates is a bunch of fucking a bunch of dweeb motherfuckers. I think they they they, they stereotype. They're like, hey, this motherfucker looks like he can knock somebody out in here. Who trying to fuck me up, huh? Yo, who trying to choke me out? Who choke me out from behind? I don't know. I'm just saying, man. Shit could have been. What about you, Sammy? Would you have just been started taking flight or started just like just trying to knock that fool out? I would have slept them. Hell yeah. You would have like just Sammy. like just been looking for the opportunity. Yeah, this would look for the opportunity, all right? Sammy takes his baby fight. hostage. If you don't stop fighting, I'll fucking crack the baby's neck. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like, Sammy would be like, be like, if you don't stop fighting, I'll fucking take this baby out. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, first of all, how the fuck did you get a gun in here? <laughs> like, man, this is this is for real. This is like this. That's when it would have would have gone too far. I don't know, man. I'm just saying, people could have been taking flight. I would have started taking that that stroller apart. You know what I mean? Make a little pipe out of there. Hit that fool. You know what I mean? Like, I would have been like, See, that's, that's the time where you run up on, yeah, run and up kick and him in the fucking head. Yeah, fool, you dog. stomp him the fuck out. Curb stomp that fool. <laughs> kick him in his balls and everything. Hell yeah. Yeah, see, how do you not knock him out? Like, everybody's like, excuse me, someone already, what the fuck is Jurassic Park motherfucker gonna do? Look at the security dude. Right. He's like putting up his zipper and shit. He's like, remember. Oh, I was taking a piss. I just He's like, always here. remember, Paul keep it through shots. <laughs> hey, man, that's, that's some whack ass security, bro. <laughs> For real, dog. They they need they need the fucking security they hire at these weed sessions, bro. You do something wrong, they're fucking you up. <laughs> like, you're getting tasered. Yeah. Yeah, but like if we were like like you know like a joint or a cigarette right there with us. Oh, that's the deal, fucked up part. That's the one tackled. thing that I think. If I would have gone to Toontown and I would have taken a hit out of my fucking vape, I would have been. Ha- I had. I would have been. Had everybody tackled you. You would have had a me. nightstick up your ass. I would have been in Disney jail. There would have been no and it was, They would have had the Disney sheriffs fucking pull up underground, which, which are a real thing. They do have Disney fucking sheriffs on fucking the, like on site, and they do show up, which surprises me. The fuck, it's like why would you not show up? Don't you fools like tasing fools? <laughs> like, come on, dog. Fuck that shit, bro. I mean, what? this is way more controversy than controversy. that. Controversy. You're fucking, you're, you're seeing like all these, like, there's going to be all these kids that they're fucking first, whenever they think Disneyland, they're going to be like, remember when that black dude beat up everybody? Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> it was it was Royal Rumble. That was the best part. Oh. Would have started snapping back. Shout out to the chat room, man. They're fucking over here talking with us, sharing their opinion. They're like, I would have socked that fool. Hell yeah. Straight Hell up, man. Yeah. Hey, Shout what is it? all the violent people in the chat room? What is it? I also had a couple of fucking stories. Sammy looked up a couple of stories. They don't want to talk about oh, it because yeah, he looked for some Sammy's. fucking bizarre shit. He really did look up for some for some crazy bizarre shit. So, Sammy had this fucking story that said a 84 year old lady got away with killing her ex husband for 40 years because because she finally caught him up on cheating. Explain that, Sammy. Yeah, pretty much, like, I guess, like, this lady, like, fucking killed, like, her husband, like, back, like, 40 years ago and something like that, and I guess, like, they dug up evidence, like, finally, and, like, they end up finding, like, fucking shit, like, 40 years later. I think she's, like, 84. Yeah, 84-year-old woman. I just can look it up if you, if you just so types it in. this 84-year-old woman, got, the 84 year old woman got arrested, bro, for killing her ex-husband in a murder, right? 
She got away with it, you know what I mean? They let her go, and they ca- it caught up to her, and she's, like, the mugshot that she took, she's smiling in it, bro. Yeah, she's smiling in it, like, the recent mugshot she just got locked up in. And this is, like, the an old lady, like a grandma, bro. Like a grandma. Try to look up that fucking mugshot, Raz, dude. You know what made, like, number one, it made, it made me wonder, I was like, damn, who the fuck spent that much time on this one person case, right? You know what I mean? I guess the system still fucking works for some people, but not us. But what is it, like, the, the one thing that was making me wonder... Imagine how many cases there are out there of people like this. If she fucking murked her husband at that time, at that time era, and there was no cell phones, there was no cameras, there was no helicopters surveilling everybody, checking shit out. Like, imagine how many other cases there are like that. How many That's other crazy. people got away with that shit? Kind of looks you- like, you know, like she's related to Raz, dude. <laughs> with that hair. For she's 80, all the old ladies have that fucking haircut, but 84, year, 84 years old, she's getting charged with murder, bro, for a murder she did 40 years ago. <laughs> That's crazy. Catching her husband cheating fucking 40 years ago, and she's going to jail at 84. Number one, who spends that much time on that case? How do you feel about that lady, Shiki? You congratulate her? I mean, she's smiling because she's 84, and they just now caught her. So she's like, fuck it, whatever, I'm about to die anyway. She already, like, lived life. Bro. I lived my whole life, and I, I killed that motherfucker, and you're just now going to do some shit? Whatever. That's some cold shit, bro. She fucking killed him, like, like for cheating and shit. She was like, oh, fuck this. And then, and then she got away with it, bro. It was, like, a, she ca- it was a cable TV show. It was a Disney. cable show that fucking found out. Cold Justice, like, one of those TV shows. Oh, so, like, those, those like, murder investigation shows? Yeah, they were like, oh, let's look at some unsolved shit. Oh, let's, well, let's look at in this case right here. It looks like we could solve that. Fucking the... They did not say what evidence led to the bitch's arrest, but she she apparently did it, I guess. So I don't know, man. Eighty four year old grandma dog, fucking murking forty years later, you're still getting caught up. I don't know. It just this she, to me is just like, hey man, eventually it may not be now, not tomorrow. Karma's gonna catch up, baby. Eh? Huh. Every dog has his day. Every, that's real talk, man. I should even even forty years later, she's just gonna die in there, bro. What if she has dementia up in there? She gonna, well. she's gonna go crazy, eh? Also, another thing I wanted to toggle before we fucking ha- we get we have our guest up in here, um, yo, what about this ASAP Rocky situation, bro? I saw the videos. I saw the fucking videos. I of saw the, the tape. Yeah. Hey, yeah, what did like, he do? This is crazy. All right, so if you haven't seen the videos yet, like number one, like, number one, from what it looks like in the videos, because he's he's traveling out there with a bodyguard. You know, what I mean, he has his crew. And there's a group of three fucking uh, wherever the fuck kids, you know, they're from, and they're like harassing. Switzerland. They're fu- where is it? I think it's they're Swed- it? Swedish. Swedish. I believe so. So you know these Swedish motherfuckers Sweden. are rolling around. And they're like they start talking shit to the fucking security crew and they start throwing shit at them. And like for miles in the fucking like shopping district, the the kids keep following the crew. And there's multiple fucking tapes of them saying, "Hey, stop following us. We're not trying to go to jail for fucking y'all up." Stop following us, and eventually they get tired of it, and they start fucking these fucking Swedish kids up. You, you, you get the video right there. Look at that, man. If, if a fucking security guard that big told me, hey, dude, stop, you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not going to try to anger that, man. He's like Michael Clark Duncan big. You know, I'm not fucking with him, bro. And, and like, and, and the fucked up thing is they have him out there, and uh, in, they have him, uh, uh, like, uh, what is it, PC? Protective custody? But it's not protective custody. It's the isolation one, the one they punished him. Yeah. Oh, it's uh, whatever. Yeah, they have the whole isolation. Yeah, isolation and shit. And uh, I don't understand like the whole thing, but it's like they even had local people go in there and try to tell these kids, hey, like you know, like it's a celebrity. Stop fucking with them, bro. They, like they have security, and they eventually they end up fucking them up, and nobody's been able to talk to the guy for weeks, and he's locked up abroad, bro. And they have him like under fucking harsh conditions and shit. That's fucked up, dog. I, like situations like this, it, it, you 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 can't help but to fucking feel bad for them, like for a motherfucker because it's like he wasn't really like this video shows the proof. He wasn't out there trying to look for a fight. No, he wasn't. He really wasn't out there trying to fucking uh, uh, fight anybody. He was like, yo, we're not trying to catch a case up in here. Can you fucking stop following us? How long would you had would you have gone before you would have lost it, Shiki? Fifteen minutes, five. Mm, a couple minutes. A couple minutes. I have a a short fucking fuse. It wouldn't even last a minute. I'm very impatient. I mean, you like, don't you think it would have been more convenient for his security guard to go to jail and just be like, hey, man, just deal with these motherfuckers. I'll bail you out. <laughs> then you're not going to be the famous one going to jail. I mean, that's fucked up, though. You're going to throw your, your bodyguard under the bus like that. Fool, he's he's the, he's, he's going to be locked up abroad and you're fucking reason, home chilling. He's the reason he's over there abroad. <laughs> that's true. This guy right? wouldn't have a job if it wasn't for ASAP Rocky touring out there. That is true. You know what I mean? It, it, technically, when you hire a bodyguard, the motherfucker is supposed to protect you at all. Like, you know, in most cases, some of these motherfuckers, they get paid enough for them to be like, hey, we're going to bust back. 
You know what I mean? So, like, if you're locked up abroad and you're going to have to go ahead and fuck some fool up and you have proof, they're not going to keep this bodyguard in, in, in uh, you know, like, isolation. They're going to keep ASAP Rocky there because they know he's, like, an American celebrity, bro. They're probably trying to milk that motherfucker, bro, trying to get all that money off that fool. But, uh, Fucking Swedes. Yeah, especially Sweden, bro. Like, I thought that shit was neutral. Didn't they have heroin parked there? I don't was know. Was that Switzerland? They got the oh shit! Never they mind. got the Maybe. gummy fish. Cairo, which is gonna be coming on later. But Cairo Swedish said, fish. <laughs> apparently, apparently, Cairo is like says that that Sweet Sweden is uh is very racist and um fuck Sweden. Dog. They fuck <laughs> they fuck they fucking throw like he's like yo they throw bananas on the field, but and I've seen that in some soccer field some soccer games because in some countries as fucked up as it is they fucking have to put it on billboards stop racism at the soccer game. Yeah, they they have thrown bananas at it though, and Pele. So it, it's it, that is fucking crazy out there. So I mean, eventually, hopefully they're able to fucking work the situation out. Yeah, yeah, for real. I feel bad for that. For now that you mention that, imagine like all the shit he has to put up with there. Damn. Well, and uh, and uh, before we get into our special guest too, I wanted to get this one thing: Aerial Fifty One raid event. I don't know. Uh, there's a certain date when it's gonna be going down. And we talked about it on the Green Thumb show. There's supposedly 100,000 people. Yeah, 100,000 people that are going to be. I've seen a couple of people on Facebook saying they were going. They're going? Yeah, there's like an invitation and they fucking said they were going. And so it's, it's, it's getting, it's a, it's a worldwide thing. Like, it's a, it's a thing where everybody's supposed to be meet up over there. I think it's going to be more than 100,000 people because it's making headlines. The whole thing is that, uh, like, it started with 100,000 people that are committed to finding alien life that are going to be marching up to Area 51. Number one, I think that that's a fucking bad idea. That's a super bad idea. That's a idea. stupid fucking idea. That is the only place, that is one of the few places that I know in America that, like, they tell you straight up, like, if you cross this line, we will blast you. Like, there's no and, ifs, or buts, they will blast you. Like, well, more than blast, they probably, they probably have, like, landmines. They'll probably there. feed you to the aliens, bro, and probably. you'll never be heard from again. Hopefully they're all from L.A. so the fucking traffic could be reduced. The traffic fucking dies down. <laughs> yes. Everyone from half of L.A. goes out there. Oh, I guess the, the, the count is now to, it started out at 100,000 people, but now it's more than 250,000 people have signed up. God damn. Yeah, to go to Southern Nevada and they're going to swarm this place, bro. <laughs> Are you going to go, Raz, dude? <laughs> I don't understand. Like, I don't really, do you really think, number no. one, do you think that they're going to go ahead and have the military and start blasting on schools? you think that they're going to massacre all these Americans? Hopefully. <laughs> That'll be some shit to fucking live through. Historical. I mean, you get to live through it because you're not there. I mean, but you really think that they're going to sit there because if it's 250,000 people marching to a place, bro, they're just going to like, what is it going to be like fucking Walking Dead or that movie with Brad they Pitt with like, the zombies? They could like practice some of their new technology and shit, like lasers or whatever at people. Can you imagine if a fucking ship just comes and abducts all these people? And fucking all of a sudden lasers, people, man. What if all these people get abducted, bro, and they just disappear? That, that's cool, yeah. too. Can you imagine that shit, bro? It's like they just fucking, you just see, you just see fucking flying saucers, just, hey, fuck them, take them. <laughs> With the flying saucers. I don't know, man. That shit seems kind of <laughs> sketch, bro. People are going to, I think satellites. people are going to die, bro. Either that or I think they're going to fucking set up fucking check poles, like checkpoints and shit, and they're not going to let people get near yeah, that. Bro. Yeah, they're going to They're going to stop it, bro. Yeah, they're, they're not going to let them do it. Because they're not going to let people die, fool. Hell nah. Let not, them. Fuck no. 250,000 people, dog? I mean, these, these fools have to start making their way right now. They probably are. They have to be, like, staying in hotels. By when is this? By when, when is the date? I think it's next week. Next week? Yeah. This is going to be cool. It's going to be a fun week next week. Next. Uh, we, should go, we should, like, watch it from Vegas. Go. No, fool. Let's just go to Vegas. Let's we'll we'll Vegas. watch from a distance. Hey, Kenji showed us the fucking Area 51 planes when we were up there, bro. They're unmarked. They have this little red flag. And they have their own little little station in the in the in the, the airport out there. Yeah, well, and all Will the Smith. people, all the people that go in there are blindfolded. It's crazy, and you you can see them when you're on like a top of one of the suites, and like there's some badass looking planes. Like they look like the plane went through a car wash. Like I never seen a plane go through a car wash, but that shit looked like spiffy. <laughs> yeah, like that shit looked spiffy. It was cocaine white, dog. I was like, damn, with a little red tag at the cocaine. end, unmarked, no fucking no no logos, no nothing. It's a little it was a trip. But like can you put me up on that game? I guess the people get picked up there and they're all blindfolded. They got fancy ass blindfolds. Nevada be a crazy place, dog. I don't know. Shout out to those people that have the balls to fucking go up there. We're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get into a quick break. 
maybe play one of Raz Dude's Alley reviews and, uh, you know, a video. And we'll be back with our special guest in the night. We'll get on with our interview. And then we're going to go on and talk with fucking Cairo, who hasn't been here in a long ass time. We're going to go ahead and get back and get high with that fool. TV. TV. All right, we're back here on the We Don't Smoke the Same Show with our special guest, Trev Deshaun. Welcome. And welcome to the Welcome to the We Don't Smoke the Same Show, dog. He's like, he's like, yo, we don't. He's like, we don't smoke the same. He's like, we kind of don't. I've only you one up right now. I, you know, some of that exotic Gasco. You know, my boy Cairo brought me some of that gelato, and this is what we consider exotics in the in the weed world. Okay. So you know, we're gonna go ahead and smoke some of that. Now, I see that you're born and raised in South Central, bro. I, I still live there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> me too. I, I never left, dog. Well, I was, it's, I, me, personally, man, I feel that when you're born and raised in South Central, it's, it's a certain kind of motherfucker that South Central forms. Like, whenever you go to other places in the U.S. or even in the world, people kind of know, like, it's a, certain, it's a certain vibe, you know what I mean? Like, what part of South Central, like? Uh, I grew up on 95th and Bloodline. Oh, damn. Central. That's active, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know. yep. yeah I was yeah. like, I know where that's at. I'm, oh, yeah. Yeah. Off the head, right? I'm like, right, I'm like right there, right around the corner from Lamar Park and Expo's district and shit, oh, man. Yeah. yeah, so it's, you know, I already know. The more it, get, the more it keeps going past the 50s, it, it, it gets crazy, bro. <laughs> man, touchy hood. born and raised? Yeah, born and raised. Damn, man. How, do you feel that being born and raised in South Central added a certain specific ingredient in your music? Yes. Like the the day to day, you talk about it. You have to talk about it in your day to day raps. You know yep. what I'm saying? Like if you if you can't talk about it in your raps, it's, it's, it's no point being the South, from South Central. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to talk about it in your raps. It has to it has to stem from something. You know? You get to experience a lot of shit because like you know being especially in South Central, people think it's like it's always like a like a like a scene from Friday or next Friday. You know people. <laughs> And don't get me wrong, the houses do really look like that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, if you live there, you do know that they do look like that. But it's not, it's being a part of L.A., I feel that you can almost have a story five times a week. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, because you're so close to everything. You could go from South Central to L.A. in like 14 minutes. Right. And then you could go to Chinatown in like fucking 10. And then you go to like Glendale or something. It's just it's crazy. You can get into so much shit. Everywhere in seconds. Whereas being, a, being you know, like born and raised in South Central, like has... Has there been certain doors that that has opened for you, just being a part of that? Uh, I would say it has, you know what I'm saying? Because you just link with random people that's from South Central, you know? Like, just random people being at the mall. I mean, it's crazy because you never meet the people that's from South Central at Anywhere else. Hood. Yeah, you man. You got to meet them at the mall. Yeah, for right? real. You don't never meet somebody, like, in a random studio. Like, I got a studio in my grandmother's basement. I ain't never really met none of the homies just pulled up on me. At the yeah. studio, you know what I'm saying? It was like... Oh, randomly they'll uh, be at the mall or some shit like dog. Like, I'll, I'll Fools gotta me. meet out in the open and shit, like to make that introduction and shit. Huh? They like, man, it's like we gotta make it public. I don't know what could pop off. <laughs> yeah, it's like I think that's what it is, bro. Like it's like, hey, I ain't gonna just show up at your studio and just, I don't know, man. <laughs> like you know, this, especially it's like they look at the like it's South Central, man. We gotta double think about. This. It says that you're you're an actor, bro. Like were you an actor first or a musician, bro? Actor. Actor. Yeah. Where did where did that stem from? Like you is that in the family? Nah, it was a stage play. I had stopped hooping, and I was like, you know what, man? Let me try this acting shit out. Let me see what I could do. Shit was pretty cool. I mean, started learning lines, you know, shit like that. And, like, could do ghetto shit, regular shit. <laughs> Thought I was cool. You know what I'm saying? It, it felt a little at right. What, so. At what age was this? Uh, 16. 16, no, 17. Yeah. Nobody, like do, you, do, like, do you have a history of your family doing it, or...? No, you was a freshman? Nobody one? in the family. I got to applaud you on that, man. It's, we're the generation that be taking risks. Yeah. You know, you don't like working for nobody else. At all, at all. So, I mean, since you started uh, with acting, did you always want to, like, do music, too? Or is it just something you just stumbled upon? We got did a play. Kanye is one of my favorite rappers. Well, yeah, one of my favorite rappers. He's one of my favorite rappers, Kanye. Kanye. So, uh, we did this uh, show. We did this thing, and I did something for my mom, like, Hey Mama song, yeah. for uh, Senior Rec. You know that Senior yeah. Rec shit? Yeah. So, we did the Senior Rec show, and uh, I did the Hey Mama song. And somebody was like, bro, I love your voice. Like... Why don't you rap? And I'm like, you know what? Like, man, too many people rap. I'm talking shit. Like, too I many people. They're like, yeah, yeah. like, they're like, why the fuck are you worried about somebody else? Like, you should rap. Like, it should sound good. So I was like, fuck it, let me rap. And what year was this? Uh, I start really dibbling and dabbling in it when we start doing the stage play. So we had like certain shows that we would do like rap stuff yeah. of other people's shit. I never did my own shit. And then all of a sudden, like, we did a show that I had to write a rap in, and I did it. I forget it was called On the Edge. That was like my senior year. I didn't take it serious. I didn't take it serious about seven years ago. That this was, was just one of those things where you're like, yeah, I could do that. Uh -huh. 
That's okay, cool. damn, man. That's, that's, that's dope, man. That's, that's a, you made a couple of transitions, man, at a very young age. You went from hooping to acting, and, you know, that's, that's a, it's, a, it's still in the entertainment field, but it, I feel it's a different set, of, different set of rules, different set of discipline. Right. You know what I mean? Like, then, then you transition into music. What was, the, what was the, 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 I guess, not the hardest part, but, like, the biggest uh, transition, making it from, because uh, people think it's very similar. Is it, or is it, is it a big transition I from think, acting to music? Uh, it could be similar in certain aspects. It depends, like, if you're doing a musical or some shit. Yeah. Like, it's probably, like, like Broadway better, like, shit. Yeah, yeah, some shit like that. It's probably, like, the movement. But, like, you know, like, because rappers, like, Chance and them, they yeah. come from, like, a theater, like, background. You know what I'm saying? So... When you think about uh, like the transition, it's it's kind of sort of like not a hard transition, but it is because now you're writing about your life, you're writing about the shit you want to talk about. So you're directing like your story. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. The pressure kind of comes like it's not it's good pressure in a sense, right? Exactly. <coughs> yeah. So did the writing process come easy to you with you know just writing about your everyday life and shit like that? Yeah, like uh, I ha it has to like I was saying earlier, it has to stem from something, you know. So like like usually I'm like yo like. I'm talking about my grandmother's basement, like that's where my studio is. So like, I'm like talking about my, I got a song called Grandma, My Grandma's Basement. I'm just talking about like, you know, hearing her stumping on the like the ground, like saying food ready or some shit. You know what I'm saying? It just but that's, all stems that's from real it. shit though, man. That's yeah. like the real, like that, that's real, like you know what I'm saying? That's yeah, South Central yeah. shit, right? That's real, South, like because you know, I mean, look, me growing up and still staying in the hood, like I honestly don't think there's another place in America that you can go and you can rent out somebody's renovated back house. I think, I really honestly think that that is a South Central thing, bro. Like, I think we started that. We're the ones that fucking put that hustle. We're like, hey, you know what? I say we did, garage. bro. We're fucking, rent is high and we not going to Bakersfield. <laughs> Hell no. You know what I mean? Like, we're, we're fucking staying here. Yeah, straight up. And it's, it's, I feel that we create our own way to just keep ourselves afloat, you know, in, in, yeah. in the scene. So it's, that's dope, cause like, like me, like I like listening to a lot of like Dom Kennedy, cause yeah, he too. raps about real shit. You know what I mean? Like just like from taking a girl out to fucking Kenneth Hahn to like, you know, like <laughs> just regular, and that's regular shit. Straight up. But that's some shit that living like that South Central life, you get to appreciate those little things, bro. Like exactly. I don't think that you search like, for example, I've interviewed a lot of like different like people from the East Coast, and I just or, or like Atlanta, and it's just different vibes. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I just feel that like we're always just like the mellow ones that it's like, hey man, it's not even that serious. Just enjoy yeah. it. Eh? Like for what? That's crazy. Like Dom, like is definitely an inspiration. You know, like the shit he talk about. Yep. Uh, you know, all that great stuff, man. Casey, love yeah, his Casey, shit. Did he heard his new shit? Yeah, yeah, love it, love it, man, love it. Man, that's now you you being, being a, you know obviously like been a LA native. You've obviously known that we've been the, you know we've been the home of the best weed. You, you been smoking all the time? What's your favorite kind of weed, especially now that it, now that you got like options to look up at? I'm not even lie, man. I haven't smoked probably in like a month, but I was like, fuck it, why not today, right? Oh, I haven't okay. smoked like Hell in a minute. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Right. Yeah. Come that's, smoke on the weed, don't smoke the same show. That's the best high though when you take a break, and then you. What made you that. take the break? <laughs> trying to focus. Damn! Every time I hear that, bro, it scares me. It makes me feel like, like I was like. Is it maybe I don't get that stuff done because I smoke too You're much weed? You're not focused, weed. dog. Nah. Smoke yeah, too like much. I literally, I, I, like I, I start freaking out and I'm like, man, because I ain't gonna lie. There's times where I drive through traffic yeah. and I, I, I'm thinking as I'm smoking, I'm gonna go home and do this, this, and that. But when the blunt is done and I get there, all I want to do is sleep and I gotta go ahead and run the cold water and be like, all right, dude, like fucking just wake exactly. the fuck up. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, is that you gotta, what you meant? Yeah, exactly. It's not because like. I don't get shit done. It's so you've been like, smoking some good shit, huh? No. <laughs> yeah, man, like, Apparently. When I'm in the studio, I have to smoke, though. I have to, man. I have to. Why is that? Like, I mean, do you, like, is it just to set the vibe? Yeah, just to get a flow. Right, see, I like that. A lot of people, the like, this, these days it's more common for me to find, like, a lot of the newer artists to say, oh, I don't smoke. And it's like, I'm like, man, really? I was like, right. I'm, I'm pretty sure I heard you talk about blunts and joints in your newest track. Yeah, like, like you have to talk. You, yeah, have, like, you can't uh, be doing that shit. Like, yeah, you don't smoke like, weed. Man, I was like, you can't be capping on weed. Like, I'll tell you straight up, like, I don't get do the hardcore shit like I'm a new ones do, but you know what I mean? It's... I was like, I, I, I ain't gonna cap on the weed. Nah, like, you're not supposed to. You're not supposed that to. That's shit man. wild when you do shit like that. Yeah, right. It's so, like it's something so simple, man. So, what do you enjoy more, the, the acting or the music? I was obviously the music. You're yeah. taking that a lot more. Yeah, music is. Are you gonna do? Like, are you gonna keep doing the transitions on and on, like bust a little ludicrous? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I mean, it depends on what the shit is. Like the role. Like if the role fit, then I'm like, cool. Like you know, I need some chill shit. Like sometimes shit that challenges me, but sometimes shit that you know some chill shit. I was like, after looking at some of your videos, man, I was like, I felt this fool had a home field advantage. I was like, he knows how to fucking show certain emotions and shit. I was right. like, you went to, obviously you went to school, you took classes for it, right? The, right. The, 
I was like, that shit made you step out of your comfort zone, huh? Way out of it. Way out of it. Like, now you can't just, like, to did me. They make you, like, did they make you start crying out of nowhere? Like, Because hey, <laughs> I, for I think, real, like. I they, knew that they, question they, was going to happen, for yo, sure. Like, <laughs> you, I, I've always wondered, because if I took an acting class, which I've thought about, and somebody yeah. tells me, yo, like, I need you to cry right now. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to cry about? <laughs> like, you know, like. Yeah, it's, it's random, but, you know, they do, like, those type of, it's, this shit kind of weird. They do fucking exercises, right? And somebody be like, uh, that's why your fucking mom hates you. That's why your dad left you. Like, <laughs> you know, not growing up with a father, you'd be like, fuck. Like, this nigga, this nigga said, you know what I'm saying? This nigga told me my dad left me because I wasn't shit. Like, what the fuck? Like, did you, what the fuck? After a certain amount of disrespect, you probably going to cry. Hey, we, we got to take those classes again and be like, why is he laughing when I keep saying mean shit? Be like, because we take it every day. <laughs> be like, I take it every day. You know what I mean? Cause, can you imagine if we see mine and sign up for one of those classes and we're like, dude, we say this shit to each other every day. <laughs> yeah, probably <laughs> stupid. Hey, <laughs> Because we, uh, we really crazy. do. You know when you have those homies where you could just say some fucked up shit to each other but yeah. not like take it serious or like fight, you know what I mean? Just like we laugh about it. Right. It's, we get, you know, it's that kind of brotherhood eventually. But I mean, if, that, if we work here a couple of years, you anywhere, you kind of embrace that, you know, yeah. when you click with people. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Love. So 2016 was your first mixtape you put on there. It's Bud Long. Yeah. I know that street, dog. Yeah, man. I was like, a lot of shit happens in that street. <laughs> that shit, yep. <laughs> he, he's like, it's by my house. For real? What street did you stay off of? Oh, dope. See, yeah, he, fucking right there. See, yeah. he knows that area. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Hey, I mean, how old are you? 28. All right, so you've seen this, obviously being familiar with the area. Isn't it crazy how you've seen that shit change up? It's like everything's getting that fucking... Gentrification? Yeah, gentrification. But you, you, you ever seen that Simpsons episode where they have that Mr. Sparkle and he just changes shit to way better stuff and just decorates it? It's yeah. like, I'm like, <laughs> they doing that shit to the neighborhoods out here, man. Our shit, our shit getting super plush. Yeah. It ain't even like the hood no more. Some of it, yeah, it ain't even the hood no more. But I, you know it's not the hood no more when you see, like, Yorkies being walked at 3 a.m. I was <laughs> right. like, yo, like, I used to see fiends at 3 a.m. Like, you know, I didn't want to come outside. Like, oh, your mom, nobody would let us. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> I'm like, the would. only time I come out at 3 a.m. is to walk a girl to her Uber. You Straight know up. Yeah, like, <laughs> and even then, I'm like, yo, hurry the fuck up. You know, like, <laughs> I ain't trying to stay out here. But like it's these areas are changing up. I mean, you you grew up in on this part of the hood, and like, yeah, I, it, I is it changing up? Coast, yeah, I'll tell you this much: my neighbors are now white. That's how much it's changed. Hey, up. that happened to me too, what dog. That shit tripped me out, dog. Like, that shit, wow. Look, it's like, we're not even trying to say. It's just like when you grown up in that South Central atmosphere, and like I, I saw a house that like you know one of my neighbors like two houses down, he had passed away, and like his his like daughter held on to it. And I'm like, it was a Victorian house. And all of a sudden, this house got changed up in a month. And I'm talking about it got pimped out. Like, Ikea pimped out. And, I, and you know, we're, you being the neighbors, you're like, man, I'm trying to see what's good with this house. Well, they with the business? You know, like, you don't know the neighbors yet, but you're like, I wonder how much it's hitting for. Bro, I ain't never seen a house hit, like, for 750000 close to a million in the hood. Like, people still get stabbed around there, bro. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he's like you're, like, close to a million, bro? Like, wow, bro. Wow, I'm like, wow, Freddie Mac sold us out, bro. Like, this is <laughs> fucked up. Like, Straight up. <laughs> like, this is everything getting gentrified, man. Yeah, but everything. There's some good shit about it, though. I mean, you know what I mean? There's, you, see some, you see some different shorties in the hood and shit. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you, you know, you start seeing the diversity and shit. Hell, yeah. I'm like, man, what the? I walk around, walk my dog, and I'm like, I start seeing lettuce in front of people's neighbors. I was like, what the fuck is growing lettuce? I was like, this is, like, yeah, you, you know they're new neighbors when they're growing shit in the front. Who the fuck grows lettuce, dog? Uh, yeah. I, apparently, <laughs> my new neighbors, dude, they got romaine lettuce in the front. Like, it's roses and shit, bro. Like, I'm like, what the fuck? I was like, I'm going to come jack this shit when I'm making burgers. Hell yeah. Like, I'm going to walk my dog and just come chop this shit up. Man, I see that. That's the kind of shit that you just. That's the kind of shit that you just see. Like, you just have it here, man. It's that South Central feel, man. <laughs> so after 2016, bro, you released five projects, my dude. That's a lot of work. Yeah. That's a lot of work, man. That's a lot of studio time. <laughs> say romaine, it is. It's like purple, that. bro. Damn. Purple romaine. Bro, I gotta see this shit. That shit, wow. Yeah, bro. I was like, man. I take my walks, bro. I see shit change up, bro. You know what I mean? You keep it. You, you keep an eye out, no matter what year it is, bro. You really going over the hood? Like fuck that, man. For... I, but it's five. What is it? Uh, five projects, bro. That's, I mean, I'm gonna give you a applause for that, man. Five projects between 2016. You've also uh, you've done summer jams with Casey Veggies. That's. I mean, that's, that's, you know, am I wrong with that? I'm yeah, we did some songs. Yep. That's fucking dope, bro. Yeah. Like, that's a, you know, like, especially you saying like you're like, yo, man, like veggies and uh, and Dom is people you fuck with. That's how, 
what was that like being able to like work? like me like I I always like smoking weed but then I was like oh shit I work with B-Real it was, it was oh shit it's different I was like you yeah. being a, you know when you're a fan of somebody it's different yeah. when you're like oh shit I get to work with you right yeah right what and was that like man, how did that happen that shit was, that shit was stupid wild man because it was like damn like. This person I've been listening to that shit for the longest, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I finally get to work with everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, <laughs> carrots everywhere. Yeah, but that shit's just like, it's like love. It's like, man, after time, it just came up. My uh, manager, Mazer, uh, I had a manager named Mazer. He, like, hooked me up with him. And, like, we were super, like, chop it up. We were like, cool, man. And we just, like, started, like, he actually, I sent him a track. He was like, man, I kind of like this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Can I get on? I'm like, yeah, bet. Like, Damn. He, he hits you back with that. Can I get on? Like, no, not not like can well, I get yeah, on. Yeah, but like you know what I mean. Like, like it's like, I fucks with it. Like yo, yeah, let's like, make it happen. I actually could he get on? Like yo, at the end of the day, no yo. matter even if they wrote KK, I got you. It's still with a man. Yo, let me get on this track. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like this shit's I don't like, care. I would have taken it over. Like yo, bro, he said he was fucking with it heavy. You know what I mean? <laughs> start getting happy like fuck. Yeah, yeah hell yeah, like, man, dude. That's like, were you in the studio when he did it? Yeah. Oh, that's that. That's dope, bro. I feel that to make like if you're really trying to make that real classic 100 percent shit, you have to be in the studio to create that vibe. I like think so. I think so too. Straight up. Yeah, like it has yeah. to be that vibe. Is, you know what I mean? Like you ever like felt the need to tell somebody it's like like not get out of the studio, but it's like, hey man, I'm trying to work. You know, because it's like you know the kind of vibe you like when you're working. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, that's the trip, bro. When you gotta tell them like, but like you know what you're doing. You know what I mean? Like you have to be in control, of, like the vision you're painting with your words. And exactly. I think when you when it's two artists they're working together. That you get the best music out of it, you know Straight what I'm saying? Because everything connects. Straight up, man. That, like, are you are you considering like now? I mean, five projects, 2016. You're working with people. Is there is there anybody that's on your list that you're like, yo, I'm gonna get to them just because I know uh, like this LA shit, like it can happen overnight. Man, it's so many artists, man. Like, shit, you kind of like just look at like Instagram. You be like, damn, like this nigga kind of got some t dope shit. Like, you want to work with somebody, you know what I'm saying? Like, especially when they really like from LA. Yeah. Place. So like, I would say like. To get on tracks, like, I want to work with Dom for sure. Like, Hell I yeah, love man. this That's shit, man. Right like, you know what I'm saying? Straight up. You been in the shows? <laughs> I haven't been in one. I actually haven't been in one. But I want to, bad. Yeah, soon. Yeah, man. That, we, what is it? I was there with uh, Carl's going to be up, uh, up here. He's a DJ. And he's, mm -hmm. he's, that, he's been hanging out with, with uh, Dom a couple times and been at events. And I remember that every show was just lit. He don't have to do a show for a whole year. And he just... Yeah, man, it's dope it's, as fuck. Yeah, it's dope as hell, man. I'm telling you, it's the LA vibe. How do you feel about the LA scene? Because like, I feel that when you go to the ATL, like or like when you go to like the East Coast, it's a certain scene that you could tap into to see where the new uh, the new artists are at and shit like that. Like, I kind of don't feel that we have that here on the West Coast. Do you like? How do you feel about that? Like, I don't feel that there's a hub where it's like. There's like a West Coast show, where like it's a West Coast melting pot of all new artists. I feel the East Coast has that. Yeah. I feel the ATL has that. You know what I mean? Like I feel everybody else kind of has that. I'm, how do you feel about that? Like yeah, we don't have anything that people could just go to, pop up, and just be like damn, like I saw this person at this place. Like damn, like it's it's kind of like to me. I feel like we should. I feel like I feel I feel that like we should because otherwise, yeah. like you ever seen like when like. The last time I seen like a big group kind of stick together and big each other up was like them dudes like Our Future, where it's like all of them kind of help build each other a lane. Yeah. And it's not too many groups that kind of come out like that, where right. it's like no matter what they like, where the ball's rolling, it's like they just keep tossing each other like plays and just until everybody bigs themselves up and it's like all right, we all can fly now. You know what right. I mean? I felt that I felt that way with a uh, like Pac Div and like the Dom he, area and then the, even the Casey area, like they, all that shit. Like it was just together. Like yep. it just like everybody was picking each other up. Why do you feel that? Why do you feel that now? It's like it's it's like that. Like like, do you think it's a certain reason? Like there's not unity out here because it's fucked up. I can't go to a show where I was like, all right, I'm gonna go see homie that raps on some crazy hood like hood shit, yeah. and then I'm gonna see homie next. Oh, this is the crazy spitter, and they're and they're all new blood. You know what I mean? They're all and, it's, and they're, I just don't feel like we have that scene. You know yeah. what I mean? Out here in the West Coast, that's the reason it's hard for I think it's hard for a West Coast artist to break through mm -hmm. and have that big support because we don't we don't help each other make that big impact. Exactly. It's not like it's not a team no more. It's like kind of. It's like, like every man for themselves. Exactly. Type shit. Everybody doing their own shit. How yeah. much you paying me? Type shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, that should be trash, man. It's trash. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I mean, I feel like we do need to kind of get it together, man. It's yeah. in regards to the, the music scene, man, because I can't really say that I can. I know a place where I could tap in and say this is the hub where I'm gonna go listen to all the new West Coast artists. Like the new, like the motherfuckers that spend money on their on their studio. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. cause it's a, it's a, you said manager earlier. It's like yeah. you know, it's hard. Like me, it's hard as fuck to find a manager. You know what I'm saying? Like, stupid hard. It's like, how did how did that even come about? Like, I don't think artists get to speak on that shit. You, you shit, you had a, like, you had, I had a manager, bro. That's 
that's popping right there, bro. You know yeah. what I'm saying? How do you like? What did you do? You fucking just online like, hey, who's trying to manage me? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I think I think it's more about connection. You feel me? Like when you like got that person around you, just keep pushing. You feel me? Because you need people to push you, man. Like that should be getting like when you writing some shit, it get hard. Like you be like, damn, like you know, you need somebody to push you. Like like, hey, like man, Mickey, like, like Rocky had Mickey and shit. He's like, help you bum. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, like. Like, like bro, just, like keep working. Keep yeah, working, like bro. just like hitting you every day. Like, bro, did you what you do? Did how you many songs song? you write today? Yeah, like did you write a song? Did you write this? Did you write that? Like, did you did you do your shit today? You know what I mean? And if you didn't, it's like, damn, you feel bad. He holding you accountable. You feel me? That is true, man. You know? I mean, you're right about that, man. You gotta do. You have you do have to surround yourself with motherfuckers to remind you to get back on your shit because it's so it's so easy to kind of fall into that uh that pattern of like you know just saying like oh man this they should have or it could have been there and this right. is and that but it's like. Like, I feel that it's hard to make that decision sometimes, bro. Like, because to make that decision of saying, hey, like, because you don't have to be mean about situations saying, hey, I'm trying to, like, be around somebody that's trying to, like, like help, help me, like, keep keep hyping my, like, not hyping myself, but hyping myself up to get motivated and shit like that. Right. It's kind of like when you start going to the gym and you're really trying to get, like, cut and shit, but then, like, everybody's like, hey, man, how come you're missing out? I was like, just wait, motherfucker. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> just wait on it. But, you know, it's like, do you feel it's like that? Like, as, a, as an artist, bro, like... Like, it's hard to make that cut. Like, you know what I mean? Because sometimes you have to have people on you like, hey, man, like, you're not on the same motivation. Like, you know, you're not, you're not an artist. Like, I have to kind of have, like, somebody that could be a Mickey with this shit. Like, I feel it's hard, bro, because, yeah. you know, you, 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 you have a lot of friends, especially in the music industry. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like a lot of people don't really know how to differentiate, uh, you know, like, friendships and business. And it's hard right. and people take it personal. Exactly. And it's like they don't really know how to make that, that, that on and off switch transition. Right. Exactly, yeah. It's like you gotta you gotta be able to do certain decisions, make certain decisions, you know, at the right time. You had to make those decisions that hurt people's feelings, huh? Yeah, sometimes. That shit sucked for a little bit though, huh? Yeah. I was like, yeah, wait, wait, you, wait, you see the it be, It's always supposed to be love, you know what I'm saying? But it's like nothing personal, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's true, man. It's like when you still keep the same oh, shit. Oh damn it. Fucking party foul. <laughs> fucking foul <laughs> beat on me. When when you keep that fucking same same amount of like same amount of reciprocation, like in regards to like energy, it's like like just because you're not gonna be in the studio with me, or I don't feel that you're you're showing me that same kind of energy, doesn't mean that I'm not gonna fuck with you the same. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I feel that a lot of people, like when you give them that talk, it uh it becomes personal. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Always personal. Yeah. That's the that's the downside to this shit. A lot of artists yeah. won't speak on that shit. Yeah, they wanna. <clears throat> it's a back and forth thing. It shouldn't be a back and forth thing. You know what I'm saying? It's all love. Yeah. It is. I mean, at the end of the day, it really has to be, man. Yeah. Like, what's the like? Do you do you think that as a like you're an independent artist or you sign somewhere? No, independent. Independent. Yeah. Do you feel it's better to stay that way or like like who's who's the goal that you're like if they offer me some dough, like I haven't I haven't said shit for a while but that's the fucking question I was about to really? ask right now. I was like yeah add on there food I, I know because if you wanted to ask it you thought about it I was like yeah like is that a goal for you like to be signed to a certain label or like a big label or anything or do you enjoy like being independent and having your own freedom to do whatever the fuck you want whenever whenever you want I, I think that's a good man that's a dope question cuz it's like <clears throat> you got to be like damn like you see great like people signing places and be like damn like that's dope but then you see all the downfalls like it just seems like yeah, it's really all worth fall it. yeah yeah and then you got the people that, like, continuously work and then build their own, like, yeah. their own empire type of thing. You feel me? And, like, um, that's what I want to do. I want to build my own shit. I want to be able to help somebody, to, like, when I finally get enough cash to do so, like, hey, yo, I want to help your career. You feel me? I want to help you. I want to see you do some dope shit. Like, your shit dope. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you want to be a... I mean, it's dope to hear that, like, yeah. like coming from, you know what I mean, like, and inspiring, like, you know, like, you're, 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 everybody's inspiring to make it big time. And as another, as a yeah. fellow artist, it's dope to hear that because... Not many people kind of have that heart, even though like it bites you in the back. Having a having a good having a good heart and good energy, like it it bites you in the back. Yeah. Especially in an industry that's cutthroat, like if it was a fashion and shit, you know what I mean? Like everybody be acting cut and so it's like, man, it should be cold. You know what I mean? That's the reason it's like you kind of have to sometimes like trust more than just like instinct. You gotta fill it out the vibes, fucking test people in the water. You know what I mean? Like you, get, you gotta be like, hey man, I, I put a shark in there. I'm not gonna tell you, but if you survive, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like. <laughs> Like if you survive this bear trap, <laughs> I was like, we really homies. Straight up. What's uh, up. what's what's the, what's the next goal for you, man? You have shows coming up, or uh, you know, like what, like, do you, like do you do you plan to? I mean, obviously you've done the acting, like, well, like, 
like what do you what do you what's next for you like are you gonna make like cinematic music videos like Kanye did with that uh, my like my sweet fantasy remember that when he had the I, I was the craziest music video I ever seen bro yeah to this to this day <laughs> <laughs> to this day yeah man I want to like make crazy videos like I, I want everything to have a super storyline you know what I'm saying like like well, we just finished this video called Patience like we just put it out and uh <clears throat> Patience man the check that out the video yeah check it out Patience video do you direct your own videos. Yeah, we directed with it, like my homie Quasi and still like that, like homie. But Quasi. you're hands on, like you're yeah. getting your Spielberg on. You're like, cause, yeah. man, dude, you do a, like, you got that shit on lock, bro. Like you could really like when you, I think when you know how to act or we you taking some kind of acting, you could really you, you could put that emotion into a video and be like, hey man, that that, that girl really hurt that fool. You know, what I mean? like you know yeah. we make it a little song where it's like that fool look angry as hell when he shot that fool in that video. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like like just some crazy shit, you know. Yeah. You get that home field advantage. For real, for real. Yeah, shooting that, shooting that video was dope, man. And Omar, man, he Omar Films, he really be having the shit. Like OG Films, he really having the shit. Like he know what like the lighting is right, you know, and stuff like that. That should be dope, like, cause it's hard. It's harder like to go into a place and not know exactly. what I it. think it's hard to find motherfuckers that have a passion for what the fuck they do. Man, you know what I mean? Straight up. It's hard to find like. It's hard to find a motherfucker that says, yo, like, I can't wait to film your video because I listened to your track eight times the night before he's preparing for the shit. You know what I mean? Really listening to your shit. Yeah, you, shout yeah. out to Ray for that. Yeah, for real, straight up, man. Like, Ray does, like, Ray is one, well, Ray's a film major, bro. He's a certain fucking, you know what I mean? He, yeah. That motherfucker has a degree to let you know, motherfucker, don't talk to me about films. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I will critique that shit. You know, like, break that shit down. I'll fuck up your favorite movie. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, yeah. How y'all feel about like Quentin Tarantino? That's like one of my favorite directors. He's dope. He's definitely one of my favorites as well. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, fuck. I don't know. He's uh, that's dude. That, those are that's legendary right there, man. Yeah. You know what I'm I mean? Like, think of my favorite shit. movie right now of him. Probably fucking was it Jackie Brown? Jackie Brown, hard as fuck. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> dude, that's, <laughs> that's that scene. That scene where they walk up to her. It, like you remember how I told you that scene in uh, Carlitos Way where Benny Blanco comes from the subway and it hurts my heart. That scene where they, the cops walk up to her, where she thinks she got away with it in the parking lot. Fuck, dog. I never will park into an airport parking lot because of that scene, bro. Not that I have shit on me, but that shit, I mean, bro, like her face, and like, I, that, I felt that girl's fucking like, I'm like, yo, it was done. Like, what do you have in the back? Oh, fuck. That's it, bro. It was, and it had that typical asshole looking cop at that time. You remember what that fucking, uh, uh, that orange looking uh, broom mustache? <laughs> You know what I mean? You got to be an angry motherfucker to have a mustache that hard. <laughs> you like to grow hairs that hard? I don't get how fools grow that shit. Like, be like, dude, what the fuck do you have? Like a, like a broom growing out of there, man. A you thick could, old mustache, huh? You cut some paper with that shit. Right. <laughs> right. Your, your latest project is stressing? Yeah, it come out the 19th. The 19th? Yeah, this month. Oh, this one. month? Yep. Available all, all all streaming platforms? All streaming platforms. What's brother. the features on that, dog? Any features oh, or yeah. just you? Uh, Keon Bell. Uh, Casey, Casey Veggies. Um, they works up. Uh, Darius Logan. Uh, uh, Rome Castillo. And uh, Gary. Yep. Now, is this. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm like not too familiar with a lot of the names, and it's not too, you know, like sound offensive or anything. Yeah. Like, but is this all like new, like new talent on West Coast? Out of LA, yep. Oh. That's what I'm talking about right there, bro. This is somebody you want to give a shot to. Where it's like, you want to listen to that new project? For real, like, give a shot to some, like, the motherfuckers out here repping where we don't got a platform to rep on out here on the West Coast. You got to, like, you got to really be tied in with the billion DJs that will spin your shit like Cairo or C-Rock. Like, that are really, like, I'll show up to a fucking venue and Cairo will play all my songs, even the shit I don't want to listen to no more. I'm like, bro, how do you have this? I deleted this three years ago. Why do you have this? Yeah, he plays all your, your old songs. I'm like, man, come on, man. I feel like that's how you kind of like get it out here. You know what I mean? Since we don't, like I said, we talked about it. We don't really have that like that <coughs> that pairing. You know what I mean? Of mm -hmm. a <coughs> of a platform, man. <coughs> Stressing comes out the nineteenth. Check it out. Um, is this what about producer wise? Is it all one producer? Nah, different producers. How many? Uh, I got Triumph on there. Uh, I think it's five all together. Five all together, yep. Five for uh, T Reg. Um, Have you been working with them for a while already? Some people, yeah. Some people. T me and T Reg, this is our first joint, but that's just hard. 
Yeah, yeah, sections. Yeah. I, I feel that um, you know, when when I had K Cap in here two like two weeks ago, we we talked about that. Is is like I feel that sometimes you have to have like this main producer that you're always able to because they know how to read you right. on certain on certain moods on certain things. Like I have certain producers that like will be like, yo, you know what, like. Ezone's not gonna tell you to get the fuck out of the studio, but you know, I was like, I'll tell you that you guys are being too loud. You know what I mean? And I don't have to say that, but it's like, and then they'll be like, all right, I see the kind of mood you're in, this is the kind of beats I'm gonna show you today. So like, I feel like there's like the importance of a certain, of having that day one producer is always good, but you have five on there, man, that's, that's, that's dope. And it's like, you know I mean? That's a whole different, that's all five different vibes. Every producer yeah. is a whole different vibe. It's like having a different director for every film. Yep. You know what I mean? So it's like, that's, it's a good, that's a good variety for y'all, man. Make sure you check that out. Yep. Comes out the 19th. Now, I'm, I'm looking here. Laura shot me this little blueprint right here. She says, you have a, you, you have a good relationship with T, TDE? Uh, I, don't, I don't have a good relationship with TDE, but Not uh, no I, know, no. Uh, I know uh, Reason. Yeah, no Reason. You got TDE. tracks with him? Yeah, we got yeah. tracks. Yeah, we got track. That's some real shit right there. He's like, yeah, but we got tracks, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we got track. Yep. So. Hell yeah, man. It's dope. Yep, Reason TDE. Congratulations to him. That's a dope. That's a good dope accomplishment. You know what I'm saying? Especially out of the West Coast. You feel me? Yep. Yep. Especially out of the West Coast. I feel that, like, especially now in the in the the way the way the, the the wave is right now with music, like like it's better for all a lot of artists to really stay independent. I don't I don't want nobody taking some shit out of my pocket. <laughs> if I gotta take a fucking accounting class, you know, on my off time <laughs> to fucking make sure that I don't get fucked by no manager, I'll take it. You know what I mean? Up. Like straight up, dude. I'll make that sacrifice, <laughs> I'll, dude. I'll, I'll stop right. smoking weed for a week or two, maybe, <laughs> maybe an hour, <laughs> like maybe an hour or two, but. That's the kind of shit, especially with the way it is. You don't want those those damn 360 deals. That's why the artists are getting younger and younger and younger. For real. I was like, you ever notice when you like, talk to like a 21 year old, like no matter if, even if you got a buck and you the shit, as long as you got a car, <laughs> like you know what I mean. Man. It's the same way. It's like they'll go up to young talent, and be like, hey, sign it at 18. <laughs> yeah, and then you be all right. And then they do, do you, you and then they do you like Taylor Swift, where somebody where somebody who owns somebody will go up and swoop up your masters and be like, I own your shit forever, <laughs> forever, forever. Yeah. For real, man. <laughs> what do you? Th what do you? Are you? Um, do you stay current with the scene? Like with the like, who's who's out there? And uh, you know, like in regards to the new artists, or are you just like, man, like like I'm just I got my own playlist, and I just I vibe with whoever I think. Man, I listen to a lot of older tracks, like older tracks. I try to like not go too crazy off, like like what what era? Uh, man, I still listen to like the. I even listen to like the. Old like Kendrick tracks, you feel me? Like Michael Jordan and all them type of tracks. Damn, like, damn. I like those type of shit. Like, you know what I'm like that shit hard to me. Yeah. It's a certain, it's a certain, you know, it's a certain feel you get from like, you know, when you fuck with a certain era, it's like I don't like to move from that. <laughs> right. I really don't. Like I like, I, like there's only a certain amount of auto tune I could take. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like this time, yeah, that shit gonna be a lot. You know, even even though if, no matter if I'm turning up, it's cool. You yeah. know what I mean? Like I, I don't. It's just only a certain amount that I could take, man. For What's, real. What's the? I mean, you 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 seem like a very driven individual, you know, and it's you know in your career, you you've done a lot of work from twenty six five 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 uh, projects, and you know like five producers in your latest project. What are you striving for, man? In the next like like two years, man? Like like I mean, you don't want to get you're not trying to get signed, like you know, you're trying to stay independent. Like are you like like what's the next move? The next move is just really to keep working and like trying to hit Europe or what. Yeah, hell yeah. That's, hit Europe. That's you try, hard. Take it internationally. Have hell you been yeah. have you been like anywhere like outside of the US? Nah. Nah. Not yet with the music? Nah, not yet with where's the music. where's one place you'd like to go? That's like it's a goal. I mean you might as well say it. You can manifest it, you know what I'm saying? Definitely London. London? Yeah, hey, I would love to just Man, you kill it out there, fool. Okay. Show up out there show up there with a soccer jersey, dog. That's a fucking love you, dog. <laughs> like for real, like you gotta show up with the right one though. Yeah, the right Otherwise, one. Like, they don't won't trip, start just, fighting your ass. And hey, shit. it's cool. Just Google that shit, bro. Like, it, like don't let you know what which one to wear. I'm one of those dudes that like, I'll buy a fucking hat because the mascot <laughs> on it look cool. <laughs> so <laughs> I was like, and it match with my shoes, man. Now, on, on, on aside from some music shit, before you know, before we uh, concluded, like, what what do you do, like, in regards to you, bro? Like, you know, like like to like on your time, bro. You know what I mean? Like, cause everybody, like me, like. Like my like, Cairo stays surprised at me. He's like, or he went tuned into my life. He's like, why the fuck are you listening to Michael McDonald? You have the fucking music taste of a fifty year old, and I'm just like, because that's what I like listening to on my spare time. Like, do you have a certain like hobby where you're like, oh man, fuck it, I go paintballing, I BMX it. Like, what do you do on your time, bro? Or is no, it all is it all work? No, I like the hoop, man. I like. Oh the hoop. hell yeah, that's where it's at, bro. You, what are you excited about LA the most, bro? Are you excited like what, are you Clippers or LA or Lakers fan? Laker fan, man. Damn, all right. I'd be rolling. Are you a Clipper fan? No, no, no. I, I'm gonna give you a pause. 
I don't like that jersey, all right? <laughs> like, I don't like those colors. <laughs> I don't fuck with that color, yeah. I was, like, I, I was like, it's like a Harlem Globetrotter jersey, bro. I, like, I, can't, I can't fuck with it, bro. Oh, man. Do you, I was like, do you, do you feel that it's going to be a big showdown with all of the, the recent players that got signed? Yeah, man. I think it's going to be a stupid crazy. I think, uh, what you think PG going to do, man? You think PG going to go crazy over here? I just think this is all one big fucking stunt. Like, I think, <laughs> I think both teams are going to be playing like the Harlem Globetrotters at the end of the day because they're going to, one game, Clippers are going to be fucking doing, they broke the fucking court. Next day, fucking Lakers are going to sell out seats and they're going to break the court too. You know what I'm saying? It's going to, I feel like it's going to just keep going back and forth like that. Because why, why did they, why did they, you say, Sheik, why did they juke us like that? As long as everyone stays healthy on both teams, they should be, they should sell out the whole season. Stable Center this year. You is more as a bigger sports fan. I mean, it's it's, it's, it's just a sport. Bigger it's, sports fan. I mean, fan it's just crazy. I mean, you got that's the Kawhi was the, Kawhi was the biggest fucking free agent out there, and he he signed with the, the Clippers. So now, I mean, obviously, all the eyes are gonna be on the Clippers. They haven't won shit ever, but now they have Kawhi and fucking now Paul they George. Stand a they got two fucking superstars right now. It's two and two. It's like fighting for the tag team championship. Yes. <laughs> it's gonna you be a good I mean? rivalry in LA. Yeah, the tag team championship of LA. But um, all right, man. Um, before we get into the break, man, where can they go ahead and find you at? Uh, what's your social media plugs? Plug it all out, man. Shout, the oh, Shiny yeah. shoutouts. Yo, uh, uh, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. Trev Deshaun, TrevDeshaun.com. Got everything, the merch, everything like that. So go over there, head over there soon. There you go. You heard it here, June ninth. I mean, July nineteenth. Stressing, the new project comes out. Yes, Make sure yes, you check that out. Listen, this is what happens on the We Don't Smoke the Same Show. He's like, he didn't smoke for a month, okay? <laughs> we we, we <laughs> smoked two joints of fucking Gasco, uh, what is it, gelato, and, and we're, we're all right you here. He's, he, I'm like, he's fuck. like, Trev, Trev Deshaun. He's like, yo, yeah, just TrevDeshaun.com. I'm over here. I was like, he's yo, like, I, yeah. I, I got this, bro. All that. I got this. I, I've been pumped. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you check it out. TrevDeshaun.com. TrevDeshaun on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, July 19th, the Project Stressing comes out. Make sure you go ahead and peep that and cop that. Support, uh, you know, support LA, local LA uh, um, talent. And not only that, man, it's like he's putting on a lot, of, a lot of the people that are unheard of in the scene. It's like it's like a big combo project right there, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's dope when you find DJs and artists to do that. You know what I mean? Like my, like my homie's gonna be coming up next, Cairo. He makes playlists that he are in mixes of motherfuckers that like the homies from like local IE talent to like my shit to like you know what I mean? He'll he'll put it in a mix and he'll play it in a wee stage and like give a fuck, just play the whole thing. You know what I mean? And that's the kind of, that's that's the kind of wave you gotta be on as a West Coast artist, man. Oh, I wanna yeah. thank you for coming on once again, and uh, we'll be back after this quick break. All right. TV. Yo, all right. We are back here on the We Don't Smoke the Same hey. Show. Hey. Man, what? if you've been fucking with us, man, for a long ass time, when we used to do the show off the little table, you know, Kyra used to, used to be here fucking full time. Yeah. And it's been a while since we had him on here, and he is now in the gaming world. I mean, he's still in the real world, but like, yeah. You got some things going on, bro. I mean, you still DJ in cool places. Yeah, man. I saw man. you go on tour with Billy English. Billy Eilish? Oh, yeah, bro, English. Whatever the fuck name Billy is. English. You know what? I don't, like, you know, like, I did not <laughs> listen to her fucking, uh, like, I don't I haven't listened to her music, but you know, you know what ruins the opportunity for that? What? Every time I see a girl that like hits a bong and they fucking play that song "Bad Guy" or whatever the fuck it is. Yeah. I swear to God, bro. Like I was gonna give that shit a chance, and then like girls hitting bongs through that song ruined it. Dog, yeah, she blew up, dog. And like she when dresses I dresses like Adam Sandler. She she had like less than a million followers when we were on tour, and I just knew she was out of this world, dog. Shout out to Billy, man. She you was, still she, you still you still fuck with her? Like she's out of this world, bro. Like Damn. I, I, she's, I, I'm not even. That's like that's, that's like that's crazy. Cause he, did you, she, you met? Did you? Well, you were still on Instagram at that point. Did you ever see this little shit when like he really was like like literally doing the shows? With this girl, like she's like the biggest thing right now, bro. Like all oh, the fucking teen girls fucking love her. Like fucking, they'll be like, we'll fucking cut ourselves for you, girl. Like you know what I mean? Like her fans are intense. They showed me a lot of love. They made a lot of Cairo loves you fan. Pages. Hey, I saw that, bro. You for a second, he had to tell me he's like, hey, like don't be tagging me in no weed shit because like there's it's a lot of parents that kids. go to the show. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's just kids, and it was interesting. Like I DJ a lot of all ages shows, so it's like when you have like. 
literally eight year olds and nine year olds in the crowd. Like, I, for compared to me at the observatory, blowing mad weed on stage. When you do, what do you play when you do that shit though? Oh man, I give them the bops like that they like. Oh, I remember, the bops? yeah, man, kids bops, bro. Boom, bop, I fucking boom, boom. I, I will cater to those fools. I was playing Cardi B on tour. I was playing Drake. I was playing stuff. How but dare you poison their minds? I was playing. A, I was playing a Cardi bunch B's of stuff, but. Bop. But at the same time, it's a Billy show, so like I could get away with playing Denzel Curry. I could get away with playing like other stuff that's in that realm because I could play at XXX on the tour. Is Isn't she like very young? Seventeen now. I think she's about to be eighteen in like another few months or oh, something. I was, about, I was about to say like, oh, did you smoke out with her? But we're not gonna avoid. Nah, that I actually like. <laughs> I remember they would. She would tell me like, you smell like an ashtray and like weed twenty four seven. I'd be like, on. yeah, yeah, that's, that's my life. Thing. That's my life. But that, nah, that was squirrel up there. she was she, she was <laughs> like <laughs> bang bang. <laughs> she, was, <laughs> she was like in the uh, L.A. Children's Choir at like the age of eight. What the fuck? She's a prodigy, dog. That's like one of those people. Hey, you she's like, like fucking Eric Bobo with the drums. That fool drummed with Tito, Tito Puente. How many motherfuckers you know that fucking play drums with Tito Puente at three years old? Man, man, not me. Yeah, dog. That motherfuckers. That's that's how legendary Eric Bobo is. So I'm like, like if you've be been prodigies, seeing, you don't be yeah. knowing. People be like legit prodigies since they were a kid. It's like fucking. Yep. Um, yeah, man. If I ever don't pull out, I'm molding a prodigy. Niger <laughs> Houston, fool. Niger Houston was like his dad was training him to be a prodigy. That motherfucker's king I, of the skate world now. Damn, I don't know if if C Rock said yup because of what you were saying or because of what I said, but like as soon as I said if I don't ever pull out, I'm gonna mold myself a prodigy. He was like yup. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hell yeah! Let me let me fuck around and tour around Japan, dog. I'm not pulling out. I'm not pulling out, I'm, and I'm gonna be on that Hank Hill shit. 18, He's like, I'm creating eight, the 18, next GameCube, yeah, motherfucker. Eighteen years later, my kid could meet my other kid, and they could be like that King of the Hill episode. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I always think about, dog. Well, you I, seen I told the, my the Japanese this, Hank Hill? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, they slept on the fucking furniture because they didn't know how to open the slide door. <laughs> They're like, oh, <laughs> the yeah, shit but, went bad. Hey, you know, yeah, my whole, the fruit was all right. <laughs> yeah. That shit was fucking, man, that, that's classic, this man. That's my favorite King. I know you love King of the I Hill. I know. This, you know you what? You love King of the Hill like it's I love only, Dragon Ball. It's the only, like, there's only two animes that I really like. And uh, I did not know that King of the Hill was actually considered anime, but it is really? anime. Yeah, it's considered anime, yeah. It's because that's the reason it has a lot of like Japanese fans, dude. Like, come on, where the, they fucking put fucking what's his neighbor? Kong? Con, <laughs> Con, 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 Con Jr. Laotian. La, 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 La La Ocean. Yeah, Laotian. <laughs> yeah, bro. It's like they, they just they did it, bro. That was for all the Bruno Mars. Hank. <laughs> Straight up, bro. <laughs> oh man, shout out to man. shout out to the. The Islander only thing family. that was real about that show is the Alamo beer. Cause that's real, that's the real beer. Apparently, I looked it up. Somebody sent me fucking crips. They're like, you gotta high and hungry and get drunk in this place. In Texas, that's facts. Yeah. They have an Alamo beer. Hey, so you came up here to talk about some things, bro. What do you got in bro, your plate? Like, we so gonna give away some shit or what? I brought you an ounce of Gasco because you was crying and <laughs> was. you ain't have, no, have weed. no weed. So shout out to Gasco. Shout out to, shout out to Vault Seed Bank. If you guys don't know, they're doing their own genetics. The some of the most. Potent strands in the industry right now, and they also have. They make gelato. Your, your, fuck. They make your plant. pop your papa strand. They got the uh, B reels tropical culado. They make poppy strand. But your fucking poppy strand, dog. <laughs> and uh, they got the tropical culado. They got Demrick's gas lotto. Fucking know, Yuck Mouth cool, and they got mine, the OG Kush Fighter. That should be done when in a few more. What the fuck is that sticker coming? Like out? another week. To fuck me up, man. <laughs> dog. Another <laughs> week, dog. Fucking the Nas. <laughs> hey, no, oh, like. Shit. I was like, man, that's that's dope, man. The applause for the fucking they coming out with gas. Well, that's a big move because they're they're compliant. Yeah, you know what I mean. And they, and obviously, um, like, you know, they have a collab with with Dr. Green Thumbs. So. It's crazy, you know. I had the first artist collab strand. I'm not trying to flex. I'm just saying with Gasco, I had the. Hey, bro, I, the, the we, first we did that shit when it was fun. Like, it was, like it's like, yo, when, we did that shit when it, like people were like, oh, there's no way. And like, yeah. now we look at the motherfuckers like that's just cute, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, I see that there's a billion grape sodas. <laughs> I was like, cheers, cheers motherfucker. That, like, I don't soda. take that shit personal, dog. I was like, Snoop Dogg didn't smoke your grape soda, dog. You know yeah, what I'm saying? That's like, true. Straight up. Like, I was like, I remember we did shit with our So, like, the but yeah, man, to that. I've just been doing shows and DJing. It's been a while since I've been here. You broadcast I, too on uh, you have on your own, Twitch. On my, game my, yeah, How my is Twitch that shit, bro? Dog, I'm so comfortable. I don't got to deal with like. Anyone else like kind of like interfering with like my, my my method to my madness? Cause I get comfortable, I get to stream with people you all start over fighting, the world. Like with the kids that drink Monster? Hell yeah, they're, they're on G Fuel. It's not Monster Dog. It's G Fuel. You What's G Fuel? What the fuck? 
Hey, we gotta do a video of us doing G Fuel for the first the time. What the fuck shit? is G Fuel? No, G Fuel is like the pre workout for gamers. Oh, shit. Yeah, dog. <laughs> I haven't done it yet, but it's serious out there. G Fuel, man, I'm trying to get sponsored. She <laughs> sent me some shit. What is it like? Was it in a can? It's does like it have, the powder. Does like it a, have Super Mario on it? Like, nah, what the fuck? dog. Just imagine fucking your pre workout shit that you take before you work out, yeah. but it has like fucking soda, like exotic soda flavors and shit, dog. You know? What the fuck? And it's in powder? It's in powder and you mix it in a tumbler, like a fucking pre workout, and you drink it and it gives you caffeine and fucking. To stay, then this is, this, this is supposedly like legal, designed to fucking uh, help you stay up. It goes, it goes G Fuel, Adderall. Cocaine, whatever fuck. the fuck. Like, G Fuel's, like, right there, like, as a drug type. I it's not like, a drug. I'm not saying it's a drug. I'm just saying it. I feel as a gamer, you could tell the kind of drug that you're playing on. Yo, like, I play people. If, if, somebody, if somebody's playing Call of Duty on cocaine, you could tell it's like, oh, fuck you. Shout out to Theo, <laughs> Theo Ferragamo. I'm, I'm about to send him this clip. That fool's <laughs> playing Fortnite with me. You, all you hear in the background is the whole the, time. This fool's you know, playing. Then when you kill a motherfucker, you just hear... That fool just rages, fucking dog. The fucking mic and shit. Like, fucking just... people rage. I smoke so much weed, though. I had my first drunk stream the other day. I what fucking, was that like? I, told, I, I, pour, I, pour, drunk I poured, I poured a whole shit. Patron like, shot into one of these containers after I smoked it. And that was, a turkey shot? That shit was fire. I was faded. That shit, Twitch is amazing. It, like, you know, you'll do stuff. Well, like, where can they follow you on Twitch? Uh, Cairo loves you. Just twitch.tv slash Cairo loves you. Do people, do people hit, hit you up like, hey, fuck that. I hate Cairo. Some people get mad when you kill them. Like, if you kill them in the game, they'll come straight to your chat. And be like, you suck. And I'm like, hey, man, Cairo loves you. What's up, man? And they'll be like, hey, nothing, man. I'm just chilling tonight. And then they make friends. And it's just like, <laughs> you know what I mean? People are lonely, dog. I'm nice to people, dog. It's free. I remember when it's X... It's free, free, cheeky. It's free to be nice to people. You haven't figured that oh, out God, yet, I've dog. I've been nicer, bro. You, you haven't been, been around. Nice. Fuck you, dog. You're, You're the, the one that's... Hey, fuck you, bitch. Yeah, just... Nobody deserves to be nice to you. That's why. <laughs> I was like, you, you're the. Hey, this fool lost some weight, dog. We've been calling him fat for too long. This fool now he's running every day like the fucking yeah, Instagram. Fuck you guys, he's man. like the Instagram models in the canyon every morning. Hey, dog. just wait till I start advertising Fit T, homie. Just uh, wait, dog. They're they're gonna want their money back. They're like, nah, dog. Like, hey, dog. Nah, it's not true. You I'll, gotta do I'll, I'll, I'll be at the comedy store all week till I drop. It's gonna be you and Angela <laughs> Mazzanati fucking doing Fit T. Fucking. She don't even do that no more. She's big time. Man. Yeah, no. she's. <laughs> hey, shout. Hey, all of us fucking who put in the work. You know what I mean? It's nice to see. Because I remember when I was back here, I tell these fools, like, and I tell you, I was like, yo, I'm going to go on tour. I'm going to hey, do this. you did, though, man. Hey, he did. And remember Shiki? this shit, dog. And I'm like, I'm going to keep my mind focused on I would, it. I don't think Shiki would ever listen to you, but I would be like, man, Cairo is so full of it. Yeah, you said, dog. Huh? Dog, and, I'm telling you, both of them. Both of them. And then, then, of them, and then of, I'm like, oh, shit. What I wasn't, I wasn't no said? cap, though. I got on the Young Thug tour on my own, and then I met WAC 100, and the rest is kind of history, dog. You know, it's crazy when you have that kind of level of support. So shout out to WAC. Shout out to Nikki D's, shout out to Rio Craig, and shout out to Mike G. Shout out to all the major artists that allow me to DJ for them because I know how to control the stage with them and actually be, you know, we're cohesive as artists. And even, yeah, people, people like Billy Idol should be like, yo, you chew this fucking stage up. Even with a little bit of time, you know how to really capture a crowd. And I mean, as you should. We man. got, um, with Saturday Sesh, you guys can always catch me there, like Wednesday, Friday, or Saturday, but unless I have a yeah, show. You but do that. That's we cool. have a uh, fucking Shoreline Mafia. We're bringing them out to San Bernardino. No. Fucking July twentieth, hey, Shiki hit some bombs or some shit. Oh, you Jones, need a Jones, fucking eagle. coliseum. Eagle, just hit him for with the eagle. For those fools, dog. Yeah, we're, like, there's a thousand fools on stage, bro. Like who's who's sponsoring the solar fountain? Dog, it's fucking going down. So everyone's bringing sixteen ounces and fontas and so you know, hey, you know, hey, I, they drink drugs. I used to like I <laughs> <laughs> drink drugs. When when they when they were barely came, when they barely came out and like everybody was like that shit's stupid. I would be bumping that shit right. And remember Pedro would be like that shit's fucking dumb, bro. Your drug music, right? And now Man, he, he listens to buys it. A sweater. Does he? And I, yeah, and he I, bought a sweater. He yeah, bought the merch, yeah, bro. And I and I. He I bought would, the merch. That's like fake as shit, dog. Shout out to G7. <laughs> I, I would, love that fool. He this fool gave me some fucking cookies, cheetah piss, and. Uh, I, 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 right I went to a con I went to a couple concerts when they when they were they were not that crazy with that trap landing you know they, before they were signed, and there was like a thousand fools on stage. I couldn't tell who was rapping. Like I was analyzing it from an artist's point of view at the first at the first twenty minutes, and then when I saw them get a, a fucking lean uh, bottle and they poured it in a soda and threw it out. I was like, damn, fool, imagine. Rockstar. Hey, that's like when I did no, the... No, bro, just imagine if the fucking, like, if, if somebody that was, like, like 16, hell yeah. Well, <laughs> like, that's why I learned, like, to, I learned to, like, kind of pull in the reins. 
You got to pull in the reins at the all ages show because I used to fucking, you know, bust open a pack and make it rain nugs, dog. It, Bro, I don't it, just, we remember, I, we, threw, yeah, we threw out a pound, remember that one time? Yeah, yeah. dog. That shit's fucking make it rain nugs, dog. That shit's a great feeling. Yeah, wait, yeah, that is true. You this feel like the really richest good. motherfucker for it's, 30 hey, I, seconds, dog. If you feel like. That shit felt tight to get a fucking handful of weed and be like, here you go. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all sh- like our music? And they were like, no, nah, we like weed, but still, yeah. Was- yeah, dog. <laughs> I fucking done threw weed off stage with fucking Young Thug, Lil Yachty, Too Short, Crud. I did and, all that. And these are like crazy, all different states. That's crazy that like, I mean, because don't get me wrong, like that, I mean, they're throwing out, fuck, I mean, you're not throwing out lean, but that was a big fucking thing. Yeah, bro. lean's like, a whole, like, <laughs> like. I'm like, what if somebody like was already on a Zanny and they just fucking drank that? and they, they That's what I've learned with all ages shows. I don't do none of that shit no more. Like throw out shit in the crowd. I mean, it, no, like you, you could throw out merch. I throw out merch. I throw out. But Gasco gives me a bunch of hats, lanyards, bags, and I hook people up. I think we all have a Gasco uniform here. If you yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. Like we, we lace people we up. Dog, I got my shirt. I did with them on the Ben Davis. I was I'm about up. to say, hey, if they don't bring me one of those, hey, I made these motherfuckers, dog. You I'll don't get bring you. Me I got one you of those? one. I just didn't have one with a fucking double, triple XL. Hey, it's a regular you XL keep, now. Fucker. You keep fucking changing sizes too quick. I don't know I what the like, fuck to say. Clo- I, got, I got closet sponsors now, homie. Careful. Hit, like, they're like, hey, man, we, we you sponsored hit you when you were double XL. Now you're XL. We Damn. still got you clothing. This, this nigga still got a membership at the Big and Tall's, the big and tall store. <laughs> Hell no, them shits are too long for me, dog. You'll be I don't, back. I don't, I don't like them like extra super length, bro. Dog, I, I threw some King George diamonds on that TKO for you, dog. I'm gonna pass get shiky high. Yeah, the smoke, baby. Yo, but yeah, July 20th, we're bringing out Shoreline Skateland uh, Event Rock's Center, San Bernardino. <laughs> Everybody go to SaturdaySesh.com. Uh, <laughs> tickets are in the shop. If you're a vendor and you're watching this, or you have a weed company, or you know someone has a weed company, we also have vendor shit. You can go straight to SaturdaySesh. SaturdaySesh.com. Or follow me at Chiroglyphics. I'm usually on fucking E-Zone's fucking live streams all the time talking mad shit because it's yeah. too early. And this fool's fucking in the car bitching about fucking I'll tampons. I'll fucking go in, bro. This fool is bitching about hey, bro, tampons. Hell no, bro. Look, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to break that shit down before it does, bro. There was something like somebody tried to argue in my chat room this morning talking about, you don't know how hard it is. Like, being a girl, you got to buy tampons. I was like, first of all. That is not a valid argument where you're trying to prove that point. Yeah. I was like, that's like me saying, you know how hard it is to pay for gas? <laughs> you know, like, I have to go to work, too. <laughs> like, is it, what? it was not, it, yeah. It, like, we're not He's on out here trying to get me to. Hey, no, nah, it was. He's like, out hey, here comparing hey. gas to periods. Nah, hell no, nah, but yeah. it was, yeah, it was, I'm just saying, it was, they were looking at it from an expense. I was like, that has nothing to do with feelings. <laughs> the fuck, eh? Like, they were trying to make a different argument, dog. It was, you had to be there, right? Tune in the, in the morning. The moral of the story is watch this fool's live streams on Instagram. I'll be going in, in. That's when I apply the first come, tattoos. Come see me at Saturday Sesh, but you want to come see me angry. at a concert. E-Zone's probably going to pull up and kick it, if not rap. It depends on how much money I pay him. Uh, it's true. This motherfucker does pay me for my gigs. Yeah. And this fool won't pay me for weed, dog. This fool has to pull out. I'm the cool hey, shit. I'm I have a, the messages to prove. They this said fool, this is a gift. This fool fucking We're sending cries. You like the fool that showed up to the Spartans. We're like, I'm just a Either way, sir. I've always believed in E-Zone since before I worked here. Since I, you know, even since I've been doing my own shit. It's good to be here. See Shiki. So you got C-Rock here. I saw C-Minus here. You need to leave that guy alone. You gotta fucking air him out. All he's gonna the time. tell you you need to leave me alone. I didn't see Ross. <laughs> I didn't see Ross, dude, yet, but I know he's up there. So I saw yep. G Seven. It's all love, always. <laughs> but everybody, go, go. We're gonna give out some tickets. I'm gonna do it on Ezone's Instagram because that's the best place to do it. They took the flavors by Ezone page. Fuckers. R.I.P. Uh, all my reports finally went through. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, they did, they did by yeah. That fool was trying <laughs> to sell that bath water. That's when they, they drew the line. They said, Ezo's trying to sell bath water now. Nah, FDA was like, hey, they fucking this send me, down. They sent me a fucking <laughs> file where I, I, I downloaded a copy of all my violations. What the fuck? Yeah, that's what they do How now when they you have, I, like, they, I couldn't read it. Like, I had to read it in a certain font because they sent it in, like, a, like, in, like, some encrypted shit. So I hit them up. I was like, hey, I'm trying it's to It's all drug-related? Yeah, it's all work-related, too. So, like, <laughs> I'm trying to appeal. I'll get it back, hey, all right? Don't don't trip on my candle fans. I know it's this players by Ezone. Ezone the firm is a new one. She, how do you get my lighter? Like I don't even know how you got my lighter. I just did, homie. Just, hey, Shiki, what do you what do you got? Any shout outs? Uh, shout out to everyone that watched us live today. All the regulars, I love you guys. I'll see you guys next Thursday if I don't go to jail. You gonna you gonna watch? Uh, you gonna be on the next High Hungry, Shiki? 
If you, you don't go to jail, hey, I don't know, bro. If you want me to, I if you don't go to you jail, to, uh, you're more than welcome to. Eh? All right, Shout all out all to Kaz Ramen. I'm gonna take Ease on there for this food challenge for the uh, High and Hungry episode. Kaz Ramen. I, I found this 24 hour ramen Kaz spot. I found raw it. Man. It's out in the IE. I gotta take you fools. It's worth raw it. Man. Whoa, whoa, it's fucking, whoa, whoa. it's fucking, fucking gas. Shiki. Um, Shiki's gonna be dropping his R and B album yeah. before the year's yeah. album. See, Rock, where you gonna be? At Produced all by Cairo. Yo, I got it. I got hey, some hold on. Hey, boys. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 chill. I got to shout out C-Rock shit, bro. Tonight, C-Rock's going to be where? In cahoots and follow 10. Make sure you check out DJ C-Rock, who will be DJing right now. In where cahoots. else, C-Rock? He's in cahoots. Um, shit. You know what? Check him out at yo.crock, C-R-R-C-R-O-C. Make sure you check him out, yo.crock. Uh, that, he's always working. This motherfucker's hey. always working. Make sure you check him out. Check out the new High and Hungry. It's out now uh, featuring Gope, uh, the sushi uh, owl house. It's a microbrewery and a sushi house. And next week, uh, the episode is featuring 2-Bit Circus, the fucking latest high-tech arcade spot in uh, downtown L.A. We fucking did a High and Hungry there. What the fuck? Uh, it's already done. It's in the works. Trust me, it's dope. And uh, I don't know how the giveaway is going to work, but follow Cairo. Was it, what is it, Cairo? Cairo Glyphics. Cairo Glyphics. But yeah, we'll tag it on E-Zones. We'll figure it out. Yep. And E-Zone the firm for that we, giveaway. We don't want to come up with nothing while we're this fucking blitz today. And uh, flavorsbyezone.com for all the merch. And uh, all, the candles are almost sold out. There's a lot of shit that went on sale this week. And uh, make sure you follow Morning Shot Films. He makes all this shit happen, all the yes. fucking photos and all this sh- all, everything. All the magic. He, He's the real motherfucker that makes it happen behind the camera. He's the fucking Spielberg out here. So make sure you follow him at Morning Shot Films. Spielberg. Spielberg, he says. Rosdude.com as well. Rosdude.com, that little fucking coconut islander little scum. That fool's been dropping B-sets everywhere. in the alleys, making the fucking dope shit at uh, Motown on Monday, switching up the fucking samples. He's working. He's doing the shit. He's just a little asshole sometimes, but make sure you still fuck with him at Razdude on Instagram and Razdude.com. If you go to his gigs, he'll give you mushrooms. Trust me. Tight. Facts. And Colton the Berg, that piece of trash. (laughs) Yeah, him too. Yeah, him too. We're out. Shout out to all our sponsors. Make sure you follow them because they're all on our flyer, eh? All right, we're out. Let's close out. Kyra loves you. Nobody loves you. TV. Why is there a train? Why is there a train?